Could termites help inspire climate smart buildings? Swedish architect David Andrian has been researching how the insects build their mounds. He hopes it will offer clues on how humans could construct buildings with temperature and humidity control systems, with greater energy efficiency and a lower carbon footprint. There are thought to be nearly 2,800 species of termite worldwide, often found in warmer, humid climates, such as rainforests. Some species of termites that build mounds appear to be able to naturally influence airflow and humidity inside their nests. Andrian is a senior lecturer in architecture at Lund University. Well, one of the fascinating things that the termite mound does is that it maintains a humid internal climate, even though it sits almost in the desert in a very arid environment. And it does this while still exchanging oxygen with its around surroundings and environment. So what we hope to do is use the geometries and the mechanisms found in the mound skin to control the way that a will building adapts to its environment and the way that it actually exchanges moisture, heat, air, uh, things like this with its surroundings. Andrian travelled around the world to see how termite mounds are constructed. He collected samples of these mounds and examined them under CT scanners. Using his findings, he and his colleagues created this 3D printed model, the Meristem wall. It is a full-scale model showing how a structure based on termite mounds can facilitate indoor climate control that we have to incorporate not only the channel network of the termite mound, but also functions such as electricity and water pipes, not to mention windows, and thinking about how this might act as a facade in an urban environment of a building. Andrian is also looking into the material termites use to build their mounds. Like many other species, termites cultivate fungus inside their mounds, creating a dynamic environment in their habitat. So we were exploring whether it was possible to use a similar system in, in, for architectural materials and use sawdust that we could 3D print and use as a binder a living fungus. And it is actually one of the first examples in the world of a structure that's been 3D printed from live fungus and wood as a mixture together. So it doesn't contain any, any glues or any plastics or polymers. And Drian says his research has not been properly applied to buildings yet. But with 3D printers developing rapidly, it is possible that termite-inspired designs could see daylight in the future.